We're back with more Women's World Cup quarterfinals predictions. And right now it's tournament hosts Australia ranked 10th in the world and they'll be hosting France, the fifth ranked team at three o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, August 12th. So the odds in this game, France will come in as the favorites in this game to win in regulation. They're at plus 110. Australia has odds of plus 275, while the draw comes in at plus 210. Now, Australia, Australia to advance by any means, so an extra time or through penalties or regulation is plus 137, while France are heavy favorites at minus 188. A bet on the over 2.5 is plus 125. The under is minus 163. And the odds makers seem relatively split on both teams to score with the yes minus 110 and the no minus 125. Those odds being at bet 365. So how did Australia get here to the quarterfinals? Well, they topped Group B at 2-0-1. They then they beat Ireland 1-0, they lost to Nigeria 3-2, and they beat Canada 4-0. Versus Denmark in the round of 16, they won 2-0 with goals from Caitlin Ford and Haley Rasso in the 29th and 70th minutes. Australia had 44% possession, 10 shots to Denmark's 13. The teams tied in shots on target at 3-3, and Australia held the advantage in corners at 4-2. Their success so far is even more impressive considering one of the best strikers in the world, Sam Kerr, has basically not been involved through injury. She, she sat out the first two games, getting injured right before the tournament. She made the bench versus Canada, and she only came on as a sub in the last 18 minutes versus Denmark. France. France were also group winners. They won Group F at 2-0-1. They started slow with a 0-0 draw with Jamaica. Uh, before an impressive 2-1 win against Brazil, and then an open 6-3 win over Panama, and then a straightforward 4-0 win over Morocco in the round of 16. Uh, now, we said France would probably be leading at half in that game and go on to win, and that's exactly what they did against Morocco. France scored early and often in the 15th minute, the 20th, and the 23rd minutes, and they led 3-0 at half. Eugenie Le Samer had one of those three goals, and she also added a second goal in the second half as France coasted to the 4-0 win. France had 75% of the possession. Their shots edge was 15 to 1 and 5 nothing for shots on target, while Morocco uh, had only two corners in the game. Scoring props in this game. France's all-time leading scorer has 92 goals, and that's Eugenie Le Samer. She's the most favored player to score at plus 160 odds, alongside teammate Vicky Becho at plus 175. Now, though Becho only has one goal and two shots on target so far in this tournament, Le Samer is second in shot attempts on the team with nine and first in shots on target with seven for France. Sam Kerr comes in as the third favorite at plus 200 odds. Kadidiatu Diani leads France with four goals. She also has the most shot attempts by far on the team at 15 and she's at plus 220 odds. Five other French players all have one goal this tournament as well. Of the seven top players favored to score in this game, Kerr is the only Australian. Now Aussies Caitlin Ford and Mary Fowler are both listed at plus 333 odds. Ford does have the most shots a shot attempt on the team for Australia at 15, but only two shots on target and one goal. Haley Rasso leads Australia in goals with three. She has the most shots on target with four, and her odds, odds are plus 550, while Steph Catley has two goals as well for Australia, and she is priced at plus 700. Some key stats in this game. Head-to-head, -head, there's been three meetings with these teams. Australia won the most recent, and it was a very recent meeting just back on July 14th, right before the tournament. They won one nothing. France won 2-0 in 2018, and they won 3-2 in 2014. France is the tournament's second highest scorers right now with 12 goals. They have the third highest XG at 9.6, the fourth, fourth highest XG differential at plus 6.2. They have the fifth most shots on target. Australia have the sixth most shots, but only the eighth most shots on target. Let's look at some best bets for this France and Australia game. Australia are in great form. They've scored multiple goals in three or four games in this tournament, and that was without Kerr playing basically at all. They're also 12-0-2 in their past 14, and they only have four losses in their past 20 games. They've only failed to score a goal in two of those 20. They've also kept clean sheets in nine of their most recent 12 games. France are undefeated in the tournament, and they have also scored in three, multiple goals in three or four games this tournament, much like Australia. And now they have only one loss in their past 12. However, that one loss did come to the Matildas. In their past 35 games, they only have four losses. So both of these teams are in very strong form. Now France, they are the definite favorites in this game and their offense is clicking. However, they did, even in a blowout win to Panama, they did allow Panama to score three goals. Australia has found some secondary scoring without Kerr. They should have Kerr back for most of this game and they will have the home field. 
France have a star striker themselves in Lugini Lusamer plus Diani. So I see a lot of scoring potential on both sides of the field here. And I think both teams to score is the bet here. So let's go both teams to score. Yes, at minus 110 odds for my France and Australia best bet in this game. Who are you betting? The Matildas, Les Bleus, the over, the under? Let me know down there in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Women's World Cup picks and give this video a like on your way out. Good luck with your quarterfinals picks, everybody.